if these circumstances exist, uh, the use of the taser is appropriate. Now at five, you asked whether using a taser on a driver police say was drunk was justified, and we took your question to the chief of police. Good evening. Last night, a Fort Wayne police officer used his taser on a suspected drunk driver who wasn't listening to his commands. Our cameras caught it all on tape, and today the police chief is responding to some people who say the force wasn't warranted. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live in news control tonight. So, uh, Elizabeth or uh, Alyssa, why were some people questioning using this taser? Well, the driver was on a stretcher when the officer tased him, and a lot of people didn't think that the police officer should have used the taser, and so we brought in the po chief of police to answer your questions. He sat down with me to look at our exclusive video as the events unfolded. That's the sound of a Fort Wayne police officer using his taser to get a driver they say was drunk under control. Get 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 Last night, Michael Ard crashed his car through two utility poles and smashed into a light post. When police and medics tried to help him, police say he was combative. News Channel 15 caught this exclusive video of the scene. Our photographer says the officer kept telling Ard to stop spitting. Ard was on a stretcher but wouldn't listen, and the officer tased him. Many of you thought the officer went too far, so we sat down with Fort Wayne Police Chief Rusty York to watch the video. His response? Basically, you know, anyone who is actively resisting, which this gentleman was, and who poses a threat to others or themselves, uh, it's appropriate use. York says Ard had spit bloody saliva on two medics already and ripped an IV out of his arm. What the officers had in mind obviously was the exposure, uh, was the fact that he wasn't able to get treatment. People could say, well, why didn't you just put a sheet over him? That way he couldn't spit on you. Well, as I said, he, he had pulled an IV out of his arm. That was, that was a safety issue as well. Police say spitting is considered a form of battery, and even if someone is restrained, he or she can still pose a threat. In our policy, for someone who is restrained by handcuffs, if, if these circumstances exist, uh, the use of the taser is appropriate. Our cameras also saw a paramedic hit Ard in the leg when he wouldn't get out of the car. Three Rivers Ambulance Authority says it is reviewing the incident and couldn't comment further. Ard went to a hospital in serious condition. Right now he's facing two preliminary charges, one OWI and one OWI <coughs> excuse me, with endangerment. That means when another person is endangered during the OWI offense. Live in News Control, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.